Alrighty here, we're gonna try this one more time. Um, it seems that some people don't like to see um, smaller people having a good time. They just wanna see the entire world burn. And I get it, you know, I, I get it. If you, whatever. Um, th so the younger, per I'm just gonna disclaim everything here. So th all this is not real people. It's all actors. It's a, a, a parody. Um, no one uh, is is in danger. It is all on on a professionally trained set. Uh, the plane is not a real plane. It's also an actor. The kid never flies. The, the young the person over eighteen never flies the plane. The mannequin halfway through the video is not a real person. That's part of the features that make it a mannequin. Is that it's not alive and that's what makes it okay to blend it in the propeller because it's not a real person. Even though it wears clothes, it's not real. So that's the that's the key feature there. Just, just I gotta put a disclaimer here. And the mannequin is also over 18, so it's not like it's, you know, whatever. Um, some of the grass does get hurt and we probably ran over a grasshopper, but it, I'm just gonna move to OnlyFans, but enjoy whatever's left of this horribly neutered video. fly the plane above the clouds? Yeah. I can teach you. We have a deal? Is your dad okay with it? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah. We're gonna teach him how to fly today. He wants to fly. How long have you been wanting to fly? A year. I told everyone do not the, call the FFA. The and Future Farmers of America? What did they do? They called, they got like 700 phone calls. And then I got a call. They said, we're gonna sue you and repossess your plane and all this and that I can't have a plane because I don't have a pilot's license and I shouldn't be flying it. Uh, I took like a business trip in it and I brought a bunch of friends with me and they're like, you can't do that because I don't have a driver's like or a pilot's or either one. And they're like, you can't do that. I'm trying to learn. I'm in the best way to learn is to teach others. So, so he's our first guinea pig student, Jason. Is this scary flying? Yeah, well, we're gonna get, we're gonna see today. It won't be too bad. You're not gonna be able to reach the pedals. That's gonna be a problem. That's fine. Yeah, you don't need pedals. This is throttle right here. What is that? Pushed in, I think, is full throttle. You pulled out, and that's idled, real slow. So, you turn this. You got oil temp, oil pressure. You're uh, don't know what those are for. All right, now you see that red lever? Yeah. Flip that to the left. Other way. Okay. All the way. All the way there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Is it Jason? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to spin that propeller over. And once it fires up, just pull back. Show me how you're going to do it. Pull back on that steering wheel real hard. Yeah. As soon as I spin it over, I'm going to spin over really hard. Once it fires up, pull back on that. So you can push it back forward. And then. Yep. What happened if I pull it back? It's going to take off. Go up. Okay. Just miss the trees here because you don't have much room to take off. Okay. You good? Uh-huh. All right. Uh, Ain't you, you going to hop in too? No, I'm not going to be in there because i got to start it. Dang. No, no like when you start it. Yeah, like when I, when I start it, 
you're gonna be you're gonna pull back on that. And, and then you gonna help it? No, I'm gonna push you off from the four wheeler. Oh, Here, you got a seatbelt? Yeah, there's a seatbelt right there. Can you reach it? Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. It don't have seatbelts. You'll be fine. How do I land? Push, just push back forward on that and throttle down. And you're going to turn off your magnetos and just turn your mixture down. Okay, you good? All right, I'm going to start it now. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> back on the stick like I told you? Yeah. It, it don't go up. It doesn't go up? Mm. Hey, you gotta... I slid on my like my face. <laughs> face. I was like upside down. I had like 20 stitches in my lip when I was a kid because I bailed off my bike off a 10 foot ledge and it just peeled my lip Why off. Why would my... you do that? I just went right off the barn bank. <laughs> a whole barn bank right on my face. There's like no damage. It just it just like scuffed the front bumper. Dude, this is a train wreck. Yeah, it is. The only thing missing is a train here. <laughs> we had it wrong all along. It's the EAA. There's this Facebook, I, I bought this plane and everyone's like, oh, he's gonna make all the, the plane people mad now. And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure plane people are, that's not like a group. And then go figure, there's an entire Facebook page called Tail Dragger Pilots United. Tail Dragger Pilots United has an entire Facebook group. And of course they're like so furious. So they posted me on their, their Facebook group, right? Just like they always do. I reported it to YouTube and suggested they remove it. Maybe if enough pilots would report crap like this, we could stop it. You reported me driving a plane in circles out in my field to YouTube. It's a very dangerous activity. And if enough pilots would report crap like this, yeah, I'm sure all I'm sure all the pilots are just just so mad. I'm sure, I'm sure all the airliner pilots, people that work for Boeing and stuff, I'm sure they're. If they could just stop that one redneck out in a field, the world would be a better place. If they could just stop me from doing circles in my plane. Part of me wishes he got off the ground and ended his stupidity once and for all. You know, I think it's hilarious that me doing circles in the field makes you wish that I killed myself. I think that's really funny. If that says anything about, you know, the people that are in these Facebook groups, Tail Dragger Pilots United needs, um, they have a slight mental disorder. Um, that plane that just went over. Mm -hmm. I, part of me wishes he would have just crashed and ended his fun once and for all. Why would you say Same that? Same with terrible. that bike going down the road. Part of me, you see those cows? Look. See him eating grass? Part of me wishes they would choke on that grass and end their summer day once and for all. People, wait, people work all their lives to have an aircraft like that. This was like... 1500 bucks or something <laughs> i pray one day one day you realized what you've done what you've done that aircraft was painstakingly restored every part savored the rib stitching on each wing rib the fabric the coats of aircraft dope the fabric tapes carefully placed all done when the weather would accommodate the drying time and i haven't even mentioned the necessary framework involved believe it or not in some states, destroying property like that is against the law. You can think about it. 
What? No. Yeah, no. pretty, pretty no sure way. there. That um makes no difference whether or not I destroy my own plane there. I tried to get the end number off the tail, and then the comment cuts off. And then someone replied, it's N43721. Gonna report me? Gonna call into the FFA? There was a kid... There was a kid spinning around in his plane on the ground out in his field. He's endangering cows. The FFA is pissed. It could be really harmful to like the worm habitat. Okay, this dude wrote a long freaking paragraph. I'm not gonna say the whole thing. And then basically saying how the world has gone downhill and I'm a disgrace to humanity. At the end, he says, sadly, I think this is the tip of the iceberg. Disgusting. Dude, you're the one calling people disgusting for having fun out in the field. Like, I wasn't trying to, like, piss people off at all. I was literally having fun with my plane and, like, accidentally tipped the front end down. This plane that was never going to fly again. <laughs> Look, no one was flying this thing again. There was four... There was, like, four bolts holding the wings on. No one was flying this piece of crap ever again, okay? I hope you guys realize that. Like, this is... I'm, I'm glad that this happened because I thought that everyone had common sense now. After go cycling through so many trucks and all these people are like, Oh, why do you have to destroy that? Well, at first I wasn't trying to, I was just having fun. So at first I was just having fun with my plane. Look what you made me do. A lot of like boomers pissed there are off a lot about of this. <laughs> Sir, there's a child out in the field and he's driving his plane around. He's gonna crash into someone and I don't want him to have fun. Can you find him $17 million? Can you find him and uh, impound his plane? And um, I'm entitled to have fun, but he's not. Um, he can't do what he wants with his plane because I want it more and it's, uh, it's his, is it his plane? Yeah, it's his, he paid for it, but I don't want him to use it because I, I uh, want it more. For all the boomers typing your Facebook comments, just organize them nice and neat. Just remember to watch your grammar, um, caption it, or, um, sign off at the end so we know who said it and uh, I can use it in the next video. Uh, and if you have a, an actual logical point to say, we all know that it's not going to be logical. Um, if you're going to call the FFA, um, please be polite to them. I'm sure they've gotten other calls from other highly sensitive people that are offended that I was having fun today. Um, if you're gonna make a call, just mention me. Um, Charles du Durant, uh, my number is 1-800. Um, sorry your ass is so offended. Thanks for watching and um, I want to shut the fuel off. <laughs> you idiot! Probably pretty hot. They were static. It shocked me. What, really? Yeah, it shocked me. Yeah. Touch it. Touch what? it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Cut it out. Here, turn around. There's a cotter. A cotter pin. One. Touch no, one. I'm not stupid. We're gonna have these uh, on the website. If someone wants them, we'll sign them or something. Um, we have three of them, I think. Does it look familiar? Mm, thanks, stupid. Excuse me. This thing ugly. It's a piece of junk. Now we don't. No? Does that ring a bell? Does that ring a bell? Well, yep, I remember this oh, wheel. Does it look better now or, or before? Before. You liked it better before? Yep. Oh. That's too bad. <laughs> I, hit a deer, I hit a deer with that one.
He's a big deer. And then that one, we dropped that from a helicopter. Was that the Jeep? That's why it's flat. No, the Jeep is over in Indiana. Ooh. That's why that one's flat. Uh, medium frosted animal cookie blizzard with extra animal cookies in that. He didn't seem very excited. You're probably having a bad day. Cold 